What's up guys? Oddman105, aka the odd one here. And this video is another Kyoperico Heist Finale replay that I completed a few days ago, which basically demonstrates exactly what I did to remain undetected uh, during the Heist Finale, thereby completing the Elite Challenge bonus. Now, recently, and I'm talking during the past event week, Rockstar released a patch that apparently adjusts the way detection works during the heist finale, thereby making it more difficult for both solo players and heist crews to remain undetected uh, during the heist finale. Now, in this video, I'll demonstrate exactly what I did and how I did it. Now, before I begin, whether you're OGs to my channel or you guys are new here, thank all of you very much for your support. I really do appreciate it, and consider subscribing while you're here. It helps out the channel a great deal, and it's absolutely free. Don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications. Leave a couple of likes while you're here because they all help out the channel a ton. And hey, while you're here, check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. So if you guys want to skip straight to the compound, then head to the timestamp indicated on the screen right now. Okay, now during the video, there will be some narration, but I'll only narrate when it's necessary to explain something. So otherwise, sit back and watch the show. As you guys can see, our approach is the long fin approach. We're using the aggressor weapon loadout with suppressors. And all of our secondary loot is here at the airfield. Now, in order for us to get a full loot bag, we have to raid both the main warehouse here and the far warehouse on the adjacent side of the airfield. So we're going to head to the adjacent side of the airfield first. Okay, just jump up on top of this building and sit tight for a second. Okay, so you see that guard over there on the second floor of the far building. We don't want to murk him out now. If we do, then the camera that's right beneath our feet will see that and that will set off the alarm. So you want to wait, obviously, until this guy turns his back on us. And wait until he stops walking to the far side of that building. So now we murk him out. And we've got this camera right here. Okay, so that's done. Now we have free access to the far warehouse here. And we've got one stack of cocaine, and there's a stack of cash, which we will ignore. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to go out the same way we came. Climb over the fence, because if you go around the building to the right, then the other two guards will see you, obviously. So now we'll head to the main warehouse. Okay, now in this warehouse, we have two stacks of weed. One stack upstairs and another stack downstairs. Okay, so we'll grab this stack of weed here and we'll get the remaining stack downstairs. That will get us our full loot bag. Okay, on the way out, just walk through this door or through the office here. And there's our final stack of weed. All right, loot bag's full. Let's get out of here. Now, on the way out, be careful because apparently this one particular guard can see through solid objects. And it's just that simple. Head back to your boat and head to the compound from here.
Okay, now that we're in the compound, shotguns out. Okay, you can see Juggy on the map here. Wait for him to make his right turn and wait for the guard behind him to turn around. So we're going to murk out this guard right here. He's dead. Take out this camera right here. Otherwise, you will get spotted. Hi, Juggy. Bye, Juggy. So kill Juggernaut. You want to make sure you take him out before, as much as possible before he walks off of that platform. Okay, so we'll take out this guy. You want to take him out while he's right there because there's another camera over here that will see you if you're not careful. So we've got this guard up here on those stairs. We'll wait for him to turn around and go back in the other direction. And a good rule of thumb is that if there's a guard in your way, take him out. Otherwise, if you don't have to kill him, then don't. So that dude's been murked out. We'll murk out this guard here. Okay, he's done. Okay, we'll take out this guy. Shoot him right in the face and we'll get the gate keys. And the reason that I normally take out guards that are in my way is so that I don't have to be concerned with them on the way out. But you have to be selective about which guards you kill and which guards you leave alive because uh, when the next set of guards come in, uh, they will more than likely see a dead guard. So here we face plant and we head to the underground vault. Okay, because I didn't know which way this heist was going to go, I ran to the other side of the underground vault and unlocked this gate just in case I had to fight my way out because I was more than prepared for that. Okay, typical fingerprint puzzle as always, just count down, from, or count up I should say from one to four. Super easy. Okay, and as you guys will see, our primary loot is the pink diamond. So this was a really good payout. A very good payout. Now, as soon as we get the pink diamond, that's when you'll hear Pavel state that an, an extra set of guards has just arrived. And right about now, this is the point where you would get caught. So I waited here for a second to see what would happen. And as of right now, we're still undetected. But this is the point during the heist finale where you would more than likely get caught. However, no problem so far. Okay, and we're just going to walk right out through the front door. Okay, let's wait for this guy to turn around. Okay, we murk him out just because. That was an extra 25 RP. You may notice that None of the guards are wearing armor, and they basically have small caliber weapons. That's because I did the prep missions for those, only because I was anticipating having to fight my way out of here. So we'll merc out this guy right here, and take his dirt bike and get out of here.
Okay, when you jump off the island, be careful about how you land because you can take damage just like I took right here. The amount of money that you have in your take will be reduced if you land the wrong way, if the loot is damaged. So just keep that in mind, which makes absolutely no sense, but I digress. That's a rock star logic. And basically you want to swim due south and head towards the whale skeleton here. And that'll pretty much clear the heist. And that's it. This heist is a wrap. So again, guys, super simple, super easy. Now, I do know that you professionals out there can run through the heist and the compound completely undetected without killing any guards. I'll have to try that next time. But this is how I do it. And this is how I remain undetected. And as you can see, we've passed. And with the pink diamond, we got 1.55 mil and we get the elite challenge bonus also. So 13 minutes, 23 seconds. So we walked out with just over 1.6 mil and that was a really good haul. And guys, that's pretty much it for this Kyle Preco heist finale. And again, Rockstar changed something during the previous event week that makes it more difficult for solo players and crews to complete the heist finale while remaining undetected. However, it can still be done. It's all about us beating Rockstar at their own game. So don't worry about it. Play the game, have fun, and make that money. And with that being said, guys, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One. And if you found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke and take care out there.